Well, goodness wasn't that something. Game of Thrones just killed off one of its most hated characters, the sadistic boy king Joffrey Baratheon. David, as a non-book reader, how are you surviving the latest attempt by Game of Thrones to give you post-television stress disorder? Well, I can't believe I'm saying that I'm shocked at a character's death on Game of Thrones, but I'm truly shocked that Joffrey was killed, mainly because this happened in the second episode of the season. Now where do we go for the rest of the season? I'm just trying to get my head around the main suspects in this murder. I'd start by putting the Queen of Thorns at the top of the list. She has plenty of motive to want to protect her beloved granddaughter, Marjorie Tyrell. I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. Now Tywin Lannister, I mean, that's his grandchild, but at the same time, nothing can be done in King's Landing without Tywin knowing about it. So I have to think that he might be involved somehow, too. And what about Oberyn? He said that he has some beef with the Lannisters. Considering that he wants to get back at Tywin for ordering the rape and murder of his sister, this would have been a great way to get revenge, but I almost wonder if it's operating too small for him. The Lannisters aren't the only ones who pay their debts. One person I don't think has anything to do with it is Tyrion, but I don't think that's going to help him out too much over the course of the next few episodes. Okay, so now that Joffrey's dead, that leaves a vacancy on the Iron Throne. I mean, I think poor Tom Baratheon, who really should be Tom and Lannister, is going to end up sitting in that very uncomfortable seat. As far as everyone knows, he is the legitimate next living heir to Robert Baratheon. One day all the beasts will bow to you. You will be king. I didn't even know the kid's name was Tommen until you just told me, so it'd be kind of weird if that little kid becomes the king now. This was another major death at a wedding. No! What is George R. R. Martin's fascination with death at weddings? You know, I think he's probably just bought too many items off too many registries. Uh, <laughs> that said, I think the rule is clear. Never go to a wedding in Westeros. And let the game.